Crosswords. They've been around for ages. Those puzzles with the numbered clues, where all the answers fit together on a grid, that you might find in a newspaper or a magazine at the doctor's office. Yeah, those. A friend and I have recently been getting into them, but since neither of us buy the newspaper, we've had to look elsewhere for them. And where else is a better place to look than the internet? But the internet's a big place, and there were so many options. That's when we had a great idea. What if we completed a bunch of crosswords from different websites and made it into a video? The rules were simple. We had to complete as much of the website's daily crossword, or closest equivalent, without any hints. Spell checking was fine. Then, if we got stuck, we could search things up that might lead to the answer without simply searching up the prompt, like looking at a map. At that point, if there are any prompts that neither of us thought that we could ever get, as in the prompt asked something entirely out of our realm of knowledge, we could use a hint to get the answer, or simply search up the answer if a hint wasn't an option. We decided to start off our journey with what might be the most well-known crossword provider on our list. Dictionary.com I don't know about you, but whenever I think about crosswords on the internet, I immediately think of Dictionary.com. I don't know if that's normal, but hey. Apart from a couple of questionable prompts. TVs, I'm gonna- Ah! Wait! No, what, what, is a, what a stupid answer! What is the The screens and sports bars are TVs? Shut up! Of course they are! Tonight, I see. That's... That's so cringe. That's not even... In ads? No, that's just in can't spell. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this just in daily crossword. Can't spell. Guys, dictionary.com can't spell. This just in. The crossword was pretty good. We were able to get all of the answers with minimal external searching, and it didn't take ridiculously long, coming to a cool 27 minutes and 28 seconds. I don't know if that's a bad time or a good one, but in comparison to some of the other puzzles we did later on, it was fairly fast. I guess it was a good warm-up at the very least. Not all crosswords were born equal, however, as the next place we visited would make immediately apparent. Yeah. This crossword is provided by Nine, an Australian entertainment company known for news broadcasts and various other television stations. And this is what they had to offer. To be fair, this is a specific type of crossword, called a mini crossword, but it was a little unexpected to be greeted with this. I mean, it was hardly advertised as a mini crossword. Unsurprisingly, it was pretty easy. Some of the answers were a little tricky, but... With such a small space to work with, it was pretty easy to fill in the gaps, with us ending with a time of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. I mean, there isn't much more to say about it, so uh, moving on. We decided to try something more... American. New York Times! Oh. So it turns out the New York Times crossword is for subscribers only. Right. We managed to find the New York Times crossword through the National Post website, so the day was saved and we could continue. Continue to suffer, that is. The New York Times crossword sucked. Well, actually, that's a bit harsh, but it, it took us 64 minutes and 51 seconds. This puzzle's gimmick was that some answers were opposite to each other. We initially read this as them having opposite meanings, but that's not quite what they meant. They meant it a little bit more literally? All of the opposite answers were composed of two words. For example, one of the answers was take out, as in fast food. What they meant by opposite was not take in, like we assumed, but instead it was give in. Initially, we just didn't get it and ignored that part of the puzzle, as trying to beat it just gave us the wrong answers. It wasn't until after we had answered all of these questions that we realized, by opposite, they meant the opposite of each word in the answer, not the answer as a whole. So in the previous example, the opposite to take is give, and the opposite of out is in, making the answer give in, not take in. In hindsight, it's pretty obvious, but at the time we were very confused. We did manage to complete the puzzle after quite a bit of struggling and moved on.
Look. We were searching for crosswords on the internet. A website like this was bound to come up, and there was no way I was going to simply ignore it. This crossword is once again a little bit different from the crosswords we've done so far. It's a British style crossword, unlike the other ones that we've done which are American style, meaning it's a little bit more spread out. By the time we had gotten to this crossword, it was getting pretty late. And to be honest, we were already kind of losing it. It was actually kind of difficult. And the answers were, well, antiquated? I mean, a lot of them are words and phrases that aren't really common anymore. Which isn't surprising, I mean, it's a website called Seniors Online after all. Oh, it's not ball, what? okay. And it's not, not duex. Oh, you know what, it's nibs. Yeah, that makes more sense for seniors. Porn? Yeah. Oh. Not a normal. Porn broker. Like, I feel like that's not true. That's, Actually, yeah, that's kind of old. That's that, kind of oldie. That's kind. Of, that's crazy to say that, Sophie. Faint. Faint. Sure. Sure. Uh oh, fraud. 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 Fraudster. Fraudster. Filed. Yeah. Oh Formally established. These. Uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that, Sophie. You can't. You can't. It ended up taking us 48 minutes and 26 seconds, which is. okay. At the start of the video, I said I wasn't sure if the time we got in the first crossword was good or not. This crossword made it abundantly clear that the time we got was not a good time. We placed last on the Seniors Online competitive leaderboards. <laughs> but, well, there's no reason to linger on that frankly devastating loss, so let's move on. To bestcrosswords.com This is a website that we'd actually visited before, before we decided to make a video. It's home to such classic and memorable crosswords as women only, and its highly anticipated sequel, Women Only 2. We found out that they have a daily set of crosswords, so we decided to do one of those. I should probably mention though, like I said, it was getting pretty late, so we got a little bit more lax with our rules. We didn't blatantly cheat or break them, but we spent a little bit less time deliberating before we used any hints. There were a few answers of note, mainly 53 down, a Northern Ireland province. Neither of us are particularly familiar with Northern Ireland, so naturally, we ended up looking at Northern Ireland on a map. Unfortunately, the answer was not a province in Northern Ireland, and after a lot of searching, we found out the answer was actually a province in the north of Ireland. I think I've heard that as well. Garden pest, uh, oh my god, um, there's a bunch of pests. Slug. Slug? I don't know if I'd call that a pest. They eat the leaves. They <laughs> eat the leaves. Straight. Gays. <laughs> Final answer. Incredible. It ended up taking 55 minutes and 7 seconds, but we weren't quite done yet. You see, that puzzle kinda sucked. Overall, a lot of the answers were not great. Especially for a puzzle that was supposed to be... easy. Like, okay. I'd get it if we were playing a hard crossword puzzle, or a cryptic one. But this one is meant to be easy, not cryptic. So the answers should make sense, right? Yenta. Dude, this crossword sucks. <laughs> a lid may be flipped. You you're trolling. You're trolling! This is the worst crossword we've ever Trait? done. Right? I hate this crossword. I, I I hate I hate it. I hate it. Family portrait is tree. Like family tree. You're tr <laughs> <laughs> Bender toot. What? Are you what? on about? What are you What are you saying? What, what do you mean by this? Anyway, we wanted to end the night with a good crossword puzzle, but. Also one that wouldn't take too long. That's when we remembered something. We could give New York Times a chance to redeem itself. 
when we went to do the main New York Times crossword on their website, we saw something. They had a mini crossword. And best of all, it didn't require a subscription. And all I can say is... Wow. It was a mini crossword. It's hard to really have an opinion on it. Especially considering we only spent 2 minutes and 16 seconds on it. But hey, at least it played a funky little song when we beat it. And that was it. This is where our crossword journey ends. For now, at least. I hope you enjoyed our dive into the world of crosswords on the internet. Most of the time we spent solving the crosswords didn't make it into this video, so maybe I'll edit the raw footage together at some point if this video does well. Or I want to. So, uh, thanks for tuning in.